Hi folks, this is Jason from MrTheBigMan.com uh, Today I'm just here to give you a quick run through, um, or run through on the some of the new features uh, with sample maps in Reactor 5.8 uh, Obviously the big deal was the Touch OSC update um, but for me as a sample pack maker and a user of Reactor to make sample packs um, there's been some improvements made um, within um, sample mapping uh, which have been really really good um, still some that need to be updated but at least I started the work on it so what I want to talk about today is firstly how to add samples into the bank um, you'll see here that I've got limelight open it's just one of the factory groove boxes that comes with the actual program itself and you'll see down here the sample mapping area and also then the keyboard area for where the samples are going to be mapped to in regards to which key now the first thing that you'll notice is um, they've changed the menu structure in that um, there's no menu anymore above here so it used to be you could load, um, add or save or whatever from the top end but what it actually does is give you a drop down of all of the different sample maps that are available within the actual instrument itself um, some are coded like this where it shows open hat, closed hat, kick etc some don't, they just say sample maps so uh, it is a much quicker way though of getting around the sample maps themselves so that's a very good improvement from there now you'll notice the add button and all of the functionality for the samples itself is at the bottom here so we'll go ahead and click add um, and we'll open up a sample so I'm just going to drag in any old sample just double click on it and you'll see that that not only has added it here uh, but also adds it down here in the sample mapping area so as you can see I can drag this out around all of the keys um, I can also do other functions like making it longer um, now I know you were able to do this originally and it was available as a part of the original thing but it's much easier to use, much easier to see what's going on with everything being in the one place um, rather than having to go through diff different things now you can also here you'll see the map but you can also look the f at the waveform of the actual sample itself um, and adjust its start time and its end time if you wish to use it uh, as a regular sampler okay, so that goes through the first part um, now what they've done is they've changed the way that you bring in samples or that you save samples so if I was to click on this and click save as what it will actually do is save the sample out to the position that I want it placed um, but obviously um, as a producer um, I like to keep all of my sample maps saved in a particular place so I can come back to them again if I ever want to build anything. So in order to do that you right click and you'll see this context menu and you go right to the bottom to sample map and you'll see four um, choices really um, 2D import and 2D export. Now generally whenever I'm building this stuff um, I get rid of the samples after using it because I don't have a massive amount of hard drive space left with the amount of work that's on there and the amount of different bits and pieces that are there. So what I tend to do is choose this one. Now what that does is it exports the whole sample map but it also includes the samples in it as well so that I can give these away um, as a part of my downloads and obviously come back to them again if I ever want to use a different drum machine. And again that's the power of this. Um, whenever you do open a different drum machine in Reactor you can just load in sample maps that you've already created so it's 10 times easier to get things do going really quickly now obviously there's a bit of time needs to be spent to build them but ultimately that's the way that you do it so you just click on that and it'll bring you up um, the menu as normal you go to the place you want to save it in and you just save it now in order to load it's exactly the same thing it's just important so if we just import um, to replace what that will do is it will replace any samples that you've already got in the map or you can just import and merge and what that will do is bring in a sample bank and it will keep in the original samples that you had there in the first place so I'm just going to um, load in a sample bank that I've built um, as a part of the Ellipse X1 uh, release which will be coming up soon um, just to let you see how that goes And you'll see here that it's just dragged everything in that I'd already built and you'll see it here as well in the sample editor 
So whenever I press play, now that I've got all of these loaded in, which I have across all six groups, you'll begin to hear uh, the different sounds that you can get um, out of the actual machine itself. Okay, so that's a little preview of Eloops X1. Um, it'll be available at the end of January. Um, hopefully this has given you an idea of exactly what um, sample maps are about and how to use them. And I look forward to speaking to you again soon. If you're interested in anything that I'm doing at the minute, either music-wise or sample pack-wise, follow me on Twitter at MrTheBigMan uh, or check out the website MrTheBigMan.com. Thanks very much.